continuing from the last video where we stopped here we said that PC1 plus PC2 uh, is a constant we proved this uh, previously that uh, QC1 plus QC2 we said is equal to 2A okay so this result we used here and we say okay so P is an arbitrary point so the distance if you join that point with the two force I and you add the distance it should be 2a okay that by definition then we say that PC1 using Pythagoras this distance is C and this is X so this is the hypotenuse so C plus X squared plus Y squared is the square root of that will give you this distance and uh, using again Pythagoras this we, we say that this has to be c minus x because from year to year oc2 is c and om is x so mc2 is c minus x so this is what we uh, where we stopped so now we have to do a little of algebra so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this to the other side so this becomes square root of c plus x squared plus y squared is equal to 2a minus square root of c minus x squared plus y squared now to expand both sides or sorry i have to square both sides if you square both sides what will you get so this becomes c plus x the whole squared plus y squared when you square this side the square root uh, goes away so this is your c is equal to now we we'll use a minus b squared so i hope you know this so this is 4a squared minus 4a times this whole thing which is c minus x squared plus y squared and then you have to square this which is c minus x squared plus y squared now i have used those are not uh, those who don't understand this step I've used a formula which is a minus b the whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared now you can do it yourself so that's how I got this 4a that is 2 times 2a will give you 4a so let me expand this again so this is c squared plus 2cx again this formula so actually it is plus or minus you can write plus or minus here so c squared plus 2cx plus x squared plus y squared is equal to 4a squared i not do anything to this so 4a times square root of c minus x squared plus y squared and expanding this i'll get c squared minus 2cx plus x squared plus y squared so <coughs> the c squared and c squared can be cancelled this x squared y squared can be cancelled so what remains is i'm going to move this to this side or the left hand side or adding 2cx to both sides you get 4cx uh, i'm going to also move this to this side minus 4a squared is equal to uh, minus 4a times square root of c minus x squared plus y squared okay so i can divide all by four so this will become cx minus a squared is equal to minus a times square root of c minus x squared plus y squared now if you again square both sides so let me write it squaring both sides both sides what will you get we'll get uh, c squared x squared c squared x squared minus 2 a squared c x plus a to the power 4 is equal to now when you square the negative will be cancelled so that will be a squared and when you square this the square root will be cancelled or will be eliminated plus y squared okay so what will happen now so this is c squared x squared minus 2a squared cx 
you have to be patient in these expansions okay so this is a squared now to expand this so this is again c squared minus 2 cx plus if you lose your cool in these expansions you will lose the plot okay so it also tests your patience so this is c squared x squared minus 2a squared cx plus a squared a to the power of 4 is equal to again i'll expand with a squared so this is a squared c squared minus 2 a squared cx plus a squared x squared plus a squared y squared so again you can see these two are with the same sign on both sides so you can add the opposite of this to both sides so in other words this and this will get cancelled so what has remained so you got uh, uh, a to the power uh, c squared let me rewrite c squared x squared uh, plus uh, a to the power of 4 is equal to a squared c squared plus a squared x squared plus a squared y squared so i'm going to move this to this side okay so what will happen and this i'll move to the other side so this is a to the power of 4 minus a squared c squared is equal to a squared x squared minus c squared x squared plus a squared y squared so what i've done is this i have moved to the other side and this i've moved to this side so what is common here uh, you can see something common here and also common here so i'll factor out an a squared here so you will have a squared minus c squared is equal to what's common here x squared so you can get again an a squared minus c squared plus a squared y squared okay now in the previous video i proved a squared minus c squared is something very interesting what is that okay so let me scroll up as uh, a squared minus c squared can be replaced by b squared so let me scroll down uh, <coughs> So, but a squared minus c squared is equal to b squared, okay? Therefore, we can say a squared b squared is equal to x squared b squared plus a squared y squared. Now, the next step is very interesting. I'm going to divide all by a squared b squared, which is allowed. So, I'm dividing this side, this by a squared b squared this by a squared b squared and this by a squared b squared so this will become 1 is equal to your b squared will get cancelled and your a squared will get cancelled so this is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared and therefore we have proved x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1 see you in the next video